Oh, that's right. It's back. A Far Lands or Bust live stream for December 4th, 2022. Over here on Twitch, you can tell that I'm starting the YouTube edit because I've gone through the, the introductory scripts here. Man, my neck. I can't turn my head left. I'm looking outside to see all the snow on the ground. And it's not easy to do. <laughs> it is not easy to do. Uh, I'm fine. I'm old. I'm fine. Uh, but yeah, you got your woofs ready. I think we could we could start this. We could we could we could uh, jump jump start this lawnmower. I guess. Oh, and the perfect amount of viewers. Nice. Very nice. It was meant to be. Let's go. Woof! There we go. Now you guys can do it. Woof indeed. Let's break out of the Heidi Ho. Oh, that's right. I remember stopping here and being like, that's kind of dangerous. All that shadow. But apparently not. There is no danger at all. Poing. He gets shot by a skeleton. Um, but yeah, let's continue with Farlands or Bust. That's a stealth hidey hole right there. Um, like I said, for December 4th, 2022. We are uh, going to be continuing west. Towards the far lands here. Ooh, my pants and shirt might need replacement. They're they're about half durability. Um use some wood as well, probably. Indeed. We were just talking about I got the new phone. I have a Pixel 4a. Careful, sheep! Oh my god. Careful, sheep. Oh no. Oh, he's so talented. <laughs> oh! <laughs> a true daredevil of our time right there. Oh. Well, he died. <laughs> <laughs> That's a shame. The least we could do is take his wool and sleep comfortably on it. Ah, <laughs> uh, that was uh, that was expected. Uh, but yeah, ah, <laughs> uh, good times. <laughs> good. We we uh, we knew you only briefly, sheep. Um, yeah, I haven't started using it because, uh, I haven't got my phone case in. But I'm, I'm, I have the Pixel 4a, I'm going to a Pixel 6a. Nothing is more in character than, than mid-range devices for old Kurt J. Mac. You get your mid-range graphics card that end in 70 or 60. You get your mid-range phones. You got your mid-range Twitch personality right here. Hey! Spoilers. Uh, but yeah, I haven't started using it because, I, like I said, I'm waiting for the phone case to get in. Reasonable adopter, yeah. I mean, I could, like I was saying, I could have just kept my phone. It works. I did mention that I am starting to see some weird behavior lately, like the camera app, like shows low frame rate, like while I'm recording. The video records fine, but like the view screen is like low frame rate. Whoa. Okay. Let's not go down there. Um, but, I mean, certainly not anything meaning that it needs to be replaced, but... I'm helping the economy. No, um... 
So yeah, that should be interesting. Checked around for the, the deals. And instead of doing the Google Fi subscription for a phone, I just bought it outright and I'm gonna, gonna trade in the old phone. And it'll bring the, the total price down to 50 bucks. 50 bucks for a new phone. It's free real estate. Um, yeah. I guess I'm not looking forward to like having to reset everything up. <laughs> Even though like there is like an import function, it doesn't like install all your apps and like sign into all your apps for you and stuff like that. So that is not something I'm thrilled about. But if anything, it, it means it's like a reset, a security reset. So that I like, I don't install or have apps or I'm logged into stuff I don't need to be logged into or whatever. That's my, that's my reasoning. That's my justification. <laughs> However, I never do that for, I've never, I've never, ever, I forgot where this came up. I think it was during Mindcrack Marathon or something. I've never just like reformatted a PC. I built this PC that I'm using right now in 2017, I think, is what we figured out. It's the same Windows install. Like, unless there's a problem, which has maybe happened only like once or twice. Mostly like a hard drive dying, a system drive dying. But I've never, I've never done that. And like real computer nerds will be like, oh my gosh, what? I do that every year, you know, or every six months. I'm crazy. I've never done that. I've never found the need to do that. Ooh, free iron. I don't need it though. Do I need coal? Not really. Those nerds are wrong. So yeah, that's like an unusual thing. That I know is a thing, but I'm like, I'm not, I don't subscribe. I don't, I do not subscribe to that newsletter. I do, however, need to do that because I still need to build a girlfriend's computer for school. Especially because next semester I think she's doing a lot of computer GIS mapping stuff. Yeah, if not broken, why reinstall and have to start over from scratch and find all the drivers and... Etc. Etc. Uh, but yeah, I have the two computers in the basement that I'm gonna like conglomerate and amalgamate into a single computer for the girlfriend, who right now is on a 2008 iMac. Um, then we just need a monitor, and she'll be set. And uh, I, the one thing we do need to buy is Windows 10. Because this install that I have was the free upgrade from my old computer, which is on Windows 7 still. <laughs> I think. I don't think I had Windows 10 on any of those other computers. Like, now that I think about it, I feel like there was some promotional thing. Although that might have been Windows 7 that, like, Mindcrack got through Microsoft. Or, like, when Seth Bling worked for Microsoft, he, like, got us all, of, like, copies. But now I'm not sh I don't know. I mean, that would be very helpful. If I already had a copy of Windows 10 running on one of those old computers. I just have to track down the verification code. That's weird. That's the that's the thing. We're trying to look for it, but there doesn't seem to be any student discounts for the operating system Windows 10. There's like student discounts for Netflix and Paramount Plus and and, and Amazon Prime, but we can't find. There's no student discount price for Windows 10. Because I've asked her and she can't find it. I've looked on her school's website. I can't find it. I've looked on Microsoft's web website. I can't find it. Oh. 
Any Windows 7 keys will probably work fine for 10. Well, that's the thing. I think I used my Windows 7 key to get this Windows 10, is what I'm saying. You have to contact the computer department. I mean, yeah, I mean, she gets, she's getting like a copy of GIS for free. We installed it on this computer just to like see if it could actually be usable. My Windows 10 key cost me $10. <laughs> I'm sure it was completely legitimate. Wink, 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 wink. Do like that guy who showed up in yesterday's stream in chat, and the first thing they've ever chatted was, My friends, I tried Keratom, or whatever it's called, for the first time today. Dot, dot, dot. And I'm like, sure you did. SnowRunner69. We should have asked further. <laughs> yeah, that's why, well, I mean, it was so, like, obvious and completely out of nowhere. They still try. If you've ever logged in with a Hotmail or Outlook address, it will have signed your Windows key to it. I never did. I never did. Like I never, I I don't, I still haven't on this this install of Windows 10. I don't like sign in with my Microsoft account. I just created a local sign in and password. So I don't want them harvesting my data. And also, I'm pretty sure the last time I had a Hotmail account was in like I still use my hotmails. Oh, yeah, you've got to ask for permission before posting a link if you're not a sub. We have any mods in the chat right now. If you sign in with a Windows account, you can then transfer the key. Right, but I still want the key on this computer. <laughs> like, I still want a functional version of Windows 10 for myself. You're missing the point, yeah. <laughs> but anyway, anyway. I've had enough of this snow.
That's what we're talking about. Does the girlfriend get a discount through school? I would think so. She's been unable to find. I've been unable to find through her school's website. I would have thought so, and that would have, like, solved the problem. Not really a problem. What are they, like a hundred bucks? Tax deductible. Um... We should be looking for Windows 11 key. I kind of don't want to get her Windows 11 because I don't know Windows 11 or have Windows 11 or want Windows 11. <laughs> like there's going to be different stuff that she's going to have questions about. As somebody who's never used Windows, well not never, but has only exclusively used Apple products up until now. She's going to have like questions or get annoyed with stuff and I'm going to be like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't use the, the Windows 11. Boing. So what else is new? Usually just office is free for students. Yeah, yeah, that she has. Which is different from office online too, by the way. Which she 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 was using and then realized that many features are missing from window uh, office online versus office desktop. Also, Office Mac versus Office Windows. It was real, real, real good time doing projects, helping her out. Oh, I need boats. Boats and beds. Whoa. Indeed. Look at that good, good tree. Got your Farlands National Park shirt. They're still on sale through like the 14th. They're still on sale. At least on the T Public site. Marketing. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. I have been very tired. Largic. I mean, obviously, the weather and the fact that it gets dark at 4 p.m. doesn't really help that, but... I think I'm taking I'm I'm getting blasted with vitamin D. I'm I've got five thousand units of vitamin D every day.
I'm gonna OD on D. <laughs> Not helping. I look very pale too. I think that's just the color uh, balance on the webcam. <laughs> Precious blood, blood. Now is the time to run in the snow. Yeah, I mean, it's not like enough snow. It's not like inches of snow. It's like an inch of snow. Because Juno likes to run around in it. Ooh. Snow runner. I mean, that's what somebody on my Instagram suggested. Because I posted a video of it snowing giant snowflakes. I'm like, stop! Enough of this? And they were like, well, if you take your real truck out, then you can really play SnowRunner. And then I replied, yep, and end up upside down in a ditch, <laughs> just like in the video game. Juno is the SnowRunner, I see. Oh, if you, uh, I did post a link to the Patreon server download in the server Discord. So if you have access to that and want that, that's where it is right now. I'm just going to make it available to patrons who are on the server because it doesn't quite feel right to just give it away for free to anybody even if they haven't ever supported at that level, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah, what the heck, man? I'm dehydrated. You wouldn't pirate a Minecraft world. I keep trying to look outside and my neck still hurts. <laughs> that doesn't help. Don't turn your face. We did end up watching Doctor Strange last night. The multiverse one. I think I think I'm 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 finally out of the loop and, and off the rails of the Marvel universes. Multiverses. Like that, 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 that's one of those movies that it like nearly required you to have watched like the TV shows <laughs> the, the, on Disney Plus and like this other stuff. It's like, well, I've lost the plot. <laughs> Clearly, they want me to be consuming more of this than I am ready to dedicate to.
You just watched it all in order. Yeah, I don't think I have time for that or want to do that. <laughs> and also, I don't have Disney Plus, but... Shirts! I watched Troll on Netflix yesterday. Here's a, is that is that a new movie? Is that in any relation to Troll Hunters? Wait, was that the or was it just Troll? There was like a Norwegian or like film called Troll that was like from the last decade or two. Is it that movie? that they've just repackaged and put up on Netflix? Or is it like a whole new movie based on that movie? It's different. You know what I'm talking about, though. There was an older movie. I think it was just called Troll as well. And when I say older, I mean like... 2012. <laughs> It looks very similar, like the trolls like have the same sort of aesthetic. Not related besides the mythology and maybe ripping it off. <laughs> Oh, we don't have Netflix either, so I don't, I don't, I can't watch that. <laughs> Basically a disaster movie like Godzilla, I see. In the other troll, it's very much, I don't know, there's not, it's not very like up close with the trolls. It's more like Monster, that movie Monster, where they're kind of just in the background most of the time as like an ominous presence. <clears throat> whoa, whoa, look at these places. I was going to come over here to take a picture of this and then that popped in. Once you pop, you can't pop. It's a it's a it's a bow and arrow man, a bowman. Right? Doesn't that look like it? He's he's doing the thing. Doing the It looks like a troll! Ah <laughs> Where's Wolfie? Get over here, you dingus. Look at the camera. Look at the camera. There we go. Is it the Norwegian mockumentary oh. troll? Was it was that how that one was done? Was it like a documentary mockumentary oh. sort of thing? Oh. I don't quite remember. I only watched it once. Indeed.
Oh, I mean, we mentioned this, I guess this is, we, we mentioned this when we were playing Jesus. I'm sorry? Um, but yeah, we did successfully end up selling the girlfriend's car. After... Previous tribulations. <laughs> Got a decent price for it. Certainly not the crazy prices in May that we would have gotten for it, but it, it was it was enough to have saved us the trouble of trying to sell it ourselves on Craigslist or Marketplace or whatever. So now we each only have two cars again. Although I guess technically I have three cars. And the girlfriend has the hearse. How's the hearse? It's a hearse. It's uh fine. Uh, we before the snow came a couple weeks ago, we took it to fill it up with ethanol-free gas, which was not cheap. It was like six bucks a gallon. Just because it's, it's not going to get used that much over the winter, obviously. I already had a boat, I guess. I was staring right at it. It's still dusty from the last time she went camping. It'd be nice to, like, wash it, but again, snowing outside. <laughs> and freezing. I, I do need to figure out a way to get the cigarette lighter working again. I guess I just got to take it apart to see what is the deal. It might not even be plugged in. Just because the little speedometer that somebody got us through my throne wish list, uh, the GPS speedometer is obviously powered by USB, but none of the... Uh, the USB cigarette lighter, you know, plugs that we have work just because like the plug doesn't work. The, the fuse is fine. I replaced the fuse. It's not the fuse, but kind of, kind of weird. There's not even a cigarette lighter in there. Like a, you know, that's the actual cigarette lighter. It's just the hole. And I know they make conversions. Like we could put, you could like remove the cigarette lighter entirely and put in a thing, a socket that's just the USB. But I don't know. Sometimes I do feel like the cigarette lighter is useful, like to run an air pump a tire pump or whatever. I mean, that's what uh, Cone or ZK was asking is, is, is like, are Japanese cigarette lighters different? But I don't think so. It doesn't seem any different. I mean, I guess I could always just like buy a cigarette lighter, like just a generic universal one for US cars. Swap it out and see. But yeah, I just I I have I have to get in there and disassemble it. I also still I would like to get her a uh, a new radio with Bluetooth. But I was looking at the double the double DIN ones with the screens. That you that also come with a rear a rear view camera that would be very useful to have on the hearse. Limited visibility out of the back, as you could expect.
But those are not necessarily cheap, and that's a bigger job. Yeah, I don't know why cigarette lighters would be any different in Japan. I mean, they all run off 12 volt car power. So yeah, those are basically the only things that need to happen with the hearse. He's already, like I said, camped in it a couple times. It, need, it just needs a wash. It needs a way to power that mile per hour speedometer. And then figure out the radio situation. I bought a radio for the truck, but I haven't installed it yet. It's too cold! And also there's... I bought and installed my own doubled-in DVD screen. Ooh! Picturesque. Um, yeah, this, this... I do also have to look at that. Because the radio it has is a single DIN. Just like AM radio. But right underneath it is just a little empty blank spot or like a tray, like, you know, putting stuff in. So the space there could theoretically hold the double din sized radio head unit. But I want to make sure that that's actually possible. Well, duh, Wolfie, no! Okay. <laughs> Okay, listen, how about we do this? <laughs> Going down? Get some free uh, coal out of the, the process here. Am I, is this all solid all the way down? Yes. Very slow elevator. Build as you go elevator. Well, you should be fine now. So yeah, and then I got I got that the steering wheel, the 240Z steering wheel. That I want to put in the 280Z. But I need to decide if I want to backwards engineer the 280Z horn to work with it or if I gotta buy a $70 horn that fits. <coughs> oh, I'm allergic to spending money. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Hello, we're awake now. Whew. You just buy a double din mount. A double din mount? Yeah, I know they make those. I just, I'm not sure if I... A lot of the radials will just come with one, but... Stop looking outside your neck. Still going. Still continuing. Onward and onward. Don't. Oh. Oisberg, right ahead.
The weird thing with the truck is that they're in the doors, the door panels. There are like places where speakers would go. But the previous owner said there's no speakers there. Like they're just fake speakers. And then there's speakers in the back. I mean, I like I would like to put speakers there. <laughs> But it would involve, like, taking the door card out. And if there aren't speakers there, then also running the wiring. So that's another thing that's like, I kind of, I don't want to install the radio until I have that figured out. Because if I put speakers in, then I'm going to have to go back and uninstall the radio and connect the new speaker wires. Very confusing. I could use the, the speakers from the Datsun. I replaced those. They still worked. It's just in the Datsun, they were wired as mono speakers. Monorail. Entirely possible there, there's a speaker wire there, even if there's no speakers. Right. That's what I'm hoping. I'm either hoping that, like, there should be speakers there and, like, a previous owner in the last 30 years took them out for some reason. I mean, otherwise, if you buy a pair of speakers, they're pretty cheap. Just the cheapest auto auto speakers. Or like, the, what I, I, I think I spent 20 bucks on the new ones for the Datsun. <clears throat> if you're not picky and not looking for amps and probably speakers not needed in hers I mean it's got a radio honestly that's a question I don't know that we've even tried the radio or if it even works if there are any speakers <laughs> hmm interesting I'm pretty sure no I, there's speakers there's definitely speakers because I saw them under the dash uh there's definitely speakers when I was uninstalling the wiring from the casket tray thing. How goes the expedition? It goes. It's a uh, unfortunate reflection of real life with all the snow on the ground. Right. I mean, you can't tune it to American frequencies because it's a Japanese radio, but still. Like, even to get static, would say, yes, there are speakers and they work. <laughs> Speaker company employee? What? That I don't care about my, my amps and my boostage? And my tweeters and my woofers? <laughs> I just want sound. I barely listen to music in the car anymore. It's mostly just for GPS directions that I use the radio for anymore. I think that you are the most fascinating character within this setup. <laughs> Not me. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Kayo Kutan, thank you for 32 months in the sub tub. Much appreciated. Up, up. That you want the cheap speakers. Oh. Well, I <laughs> but if I'm putting money into keeping the car running as opposed to keeping the radio thumping. Is where I'm at. When you buy a twenty dollar head unit, <laughs> it 
probably be throwing money away to buy speakers that cost any more than that. Unless your company wants to do some sort of sponsorship. Wiggly eyeballs. And like install it themselves. <laughs> so I don't have to. Then I'll take the most expensive ones you got for free. Our lands are base. Still turning my head to the left. When the next stage of jitters will be? Um, quite a ways away. We are, we are this, this many jitters. Well, that's hard to tell on the sand. We need a standalone block. There we go. That's how far off we are. Um, the next one will be the last one before the Far Lands. That'll be at like 8 million blocks or whatever. Right now I think we probably just passed 6 million. I think we're probably around halfway there. And that'll double, so it'll be a half block off. We should put a date on that, I suppose. And when I say we, I mean I'm the only one who can do that. Um, <laughs> what was that, March 28th? 2022? Yeah, it'll either look cool or be completely unplayable. <laughs> those are the two, those are our two options. Should have a map render of his trip, then print it and sell it. So you're saying you want somebody to draw a line with a ballpoint pen that's 83 feet long <laughs> on like a receipt sized paper, like a sales receipt, 
and that would be your official map render. That's how it would look. A CVS receipt. I, 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 I don't believe we will ever have an overviewer map ever again. <laughs> it's just, it's too difficult and too long, too narrow. Welp, not going this way, especially with Wolfie. Hmm. How did I even get up here? What? That's the other problem too. It's not like a straight line. I say this whole place All right, I'm just going to dig up and out. Can't possibly just be digging into a mountain, right? That's never happened before. Guy Chris, we did it. Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, it did feel very much like I was going to come out on the very top of the hill that I was trying to avoid with the cliff. There we go. There we go.
What else is new? What else is up? Volcanoes erupting. Snow falling. Mm, Kurt yawning. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Thank you. What's your favorite song? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I don't have a favorite anything. <laughs> <laughs> um this this has been a long standing tradition in Far Lands or Bus taking questions. What's your favorite this? What's your favorite movie? What's your favorite dinner food? What's your favorite whatever? No, and especially now, I have not been listening to music. I have not been listening to any music. Really. Even, like, feel any sort of, like... <laughs> connection to music or anything like that. Um... Permission to come aboard, sir. Grant it, sir. Grant... Touchstone Gold, a new sub in the tub. Thank you for bringing your Prime here, your Bezos Bucks. Much appreciated. Sub tub! Um. S slightly lofting the the dwindling numbers here. I've gotten, I've also gotten that question. What's your favorite question? And that's almost worse. <laughs> that, that is, uh, that's worse than the favorite question. We've gotten that many times before. When was the last time you had to do calculus? Never! I never had to do calculus. I never took calculus. In any of my schooling, nor trigonometry, they just sounded bad, so I never took them. Art degree! Yeah, I already have, like, the inability to make decisions. <laughs> I lack that part of my brain, psychologically speaking. So then to tell me to decide what my favorite anything is, is, like, the ultimate, like, 
source of anxiety related to that. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. I, it does seem like a lot of people had to take trigonometry or calculus, like, in high school, like it was required and stuff. I don't know how I got away with, like, never, ever doing it. Ever. Like, through any school, college or high school or anything. I, I gamed the system. Yeah, I never took physics either. I mean, I suppose taking physics might have prerequisited some of those similar topics, but yeah, I never took physics. So I like, not surprisingly, but just, I suppose, unfortunately, I never really went beyond the required science classes, which I think was biology. I think there was a chemistry. I remember chemistry in high school and I made zero sense of like the molecule formulas, like combining molecules and what do they make? Like that being kind of a math thing made zero sense to me. I did not do well. I was fantastic in the labs. I'm good. I'm good at doing things hands on. But yeah, I think that was like the last science class. I took a geology in college, I think, when after I failed the foreign language class to try to get the Bachelor of Arts, I had to switch to a Bachelor of Science, and that required a science class, and that was fine. <laughs> Which is what I should have done from the get-go, had I known. I had to take PE every semester, though, that's for sure. <laughs> Can't miss out on kickball <laughs> as part of my development <laughs> and education. I am that guy. I I am that guy. I am that guy. And you're that guy who has that YouTube short about your car up on YouTube. It's that guy, everybody. He's here. dead now. <laughs> you killed it. You put it out of its misery. Uh... Dang it. That is funny. The girlfriend has one of the Farlands National Park stickers on like her clipboard or something for school. 
And like one of her classmates looked at it and was like, like, oh, I know that. I know that. I tried to walk there once in Minecraft, but it was too far away. girlfriend marketing and sales I mean kind of she does sell me <laughs> like much more than I do this would be a good place for a hidey hole but She's doing forestry and like land management, forestry, parks, and stuff like that. She's not entirely sure what she's going to go into or what she's going to use, like what job she is trying to go for or anything, but. The subject matter is interesting, and she's very good at it, which is why, like, like I said, next semester she's taking like a GIS, which is like the global, the GPS sort of mapping software, which is why I've got to build her a PC because that's it doesn't run on a Mac and. She, that, the girlfriend is telling me that I should, like, take GIS courses, that I would be good at it. I think mostly based on my GeoGuessr experience, which I don't think is a basis for a career. <laughs> but I, I do admit that I do pick up on, like, software user interfaces very quickly. And I'm pretty good at adapting to things like that. However, in talking about school, the thought of going back to a school, even if it's like just for like a software certification, it's uh, it doesn't give me the the warmest feelies in my in my feelies in my in my in my body in my, in my jellies. It's uh, a little bit daunting, but the, hey, it might be necessary. Is twenty twenty three the year? Stay tuned to find out. Uh, ArcGIS. Yeah, that's the only GIS that there is. They have a monopoly. They're like the Adobe of mapping software. How many years? Here's, here's a question. How many years has it been since you started Farlands or Bust? 2011. It's been 11 years. Yeah, it's been. Uh, it's also been the full amount of days for this first segment of the live stream. So I'm going to go to sleep. I'm going to take a bit of a break and lose all these viewers. Because uh, I do need to let Juno out because I wasn't able to take her on a walk because it snowed and is continuing to snow. Um, but yeah, this might be a, a slightly extended little bit of a break. Uh, so enjoy. Um, but also, when we come back, I think I'll continue with Farlands or Bust. We've we've been neglecting the Farlands or Bust in favor of the Snow Runner and Bust <laughs> zombies. Uh, so let's go to sleep. <laughs> 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 Check the world save, 44,898 megabytes on the world save. Slowly approaching 45 gigs. Part two. Welcome to part two 
of the December 4th, 2022 Bar Lands or Bust stream. Still can't really turn my head to the left. <laughs> uh, but that's fine. We don't need to do that. Just got to keep blinders on straight ahead. Continuing to the Far Lands. Get your woofs ready. Woof! All right. Woof indeed. That that was quick. <laughs> Gotta wait for these zombies to die. That one went in the water, so that's not going to happen as fast as I would have hoped. Hello. <sighs> Sir. That's what I thought. This will warm me up. All right. Got him. Got him good. Secure the hidey hole, as was clearly necessary. And continue west, further and further, yet closer and closer to that alleged eight million some odd blocks where the floating point is going to double once again. And then we're really going to need to get the uh, anti-fatigue glasses out. Indeed. Speaking of getting old, I, I had been for like a very long time now. It's been a long time, um, but I've been taking melatonin like pretty much every night to help me sleep. But then I'm like, maybe that's not so good to do that every night. So I didn't last night and I didn't sleep too great. And I must have also slept wrong, which is why my neck is stiff, but... I do kind of slightly feel like I have I'm a bit more awake today. This is all this is all conjecture and confirmation bias and there's, there's no scientific basis for anything I'm saying about the use of or not use of melatonin. I have like the lowest dose to like 3 Milli milligrams. I also did have some weird and slightly frustrating dreams. Not that my dreams tend to be very pleasant anyways. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm also, I can't remember when I started really taking melatonin. Really down in the stuff by the bottle full. No, um. It might have, it might have been when the girlfriend left to visit home last year, last winter, and I could not sleep. And then I just kind of kept up with it because it helped. But I don't think there's anything wrong. Like, I don't think there's anything showing that it is bad. If anything, the science shows that it actually does nothing. <laughs> that, that it's like a placebo. That like, yes, your body uses melatonin to sleep, but it really can't process it through your liver or like, you know, by ingesting it. But I do think it does something. It definitely makes me, if I take it too early and I'm not going to bed yet, I get sleepy, sleepy, drowsy, drowsy.
I don't know why I'm telling you this, other than that I'm I'm desperate for content. Why does the game look so bad? <laughs> That's just the way Minecraft looks. <laughs> you ever heard of Minecraft? Peepers being weird. Pixelated and blocky. Have you watched the metaverse? Now that looks bad. I did watch the metaverse. Oh, you mean, wait, you mean the Marvel metaverse? The Doctor Strange? We literally just watched that last night. Or are you talking about the Mark Zuckerberg metaverse? Yeah, the jittery is part of the problem. Well, it's actually separate from the Far Lands, but it's part of the charm of this version of the game. The Facebook, the meta metaverse. <laughs> it's like saying ATM machine. Um, do you still have that Lego space shuttle? Well, yes. Well, you can't see it because it's behind the plants, but yes, it's up there. Oh, I'm watering that plant too. I, for I need to take it out of its bowl of water. I have a full size. Yeah, I got one of the three. Oop, I'm gonna need wood. Um, yeah, it wasn't, isn't, since we were all so very topical here. Like, wasn't it, didn't they just announce that, like, the metaverse is completely failing, as it should, and everybody knew it would? So, like, because Facebook, whatever, Mark Zuckerberg lost, like, $10 billion so far, they're like... Well, I guess we have to cut employees. We gotta lay people off. That's a bunch of BS. The crappy investment that we made with our money that put us at risk will be fine, but we gotta lay off 2,000 employees. Certainly wasn't my fault. This is a great idea. Fantastic idea. We just have too many employees. That's the problem. Sure is a lot of that going around. <laughs> like, I ha I don't even, like, pay attention to it. <laughs> or, like, I just every once in a while I, I see a tweeter tweet, somebody making fun of the floating bodies or the stupid selfie he took in front of the Metaverse Eiffel Tower or some... They're pivoting to video. Of 
course, since that's now a $10 billion loss, you won't have to pay taxes on any of those $10 billion. Oh, <laughs> the system functions as intended. There's your last F3. That was in uh, March 2022. Which seems like decades ago at this point, to be honest with you. Like what? There, something else happened or was happening or was remembering. Like with the girlfriend, um, and we were like, we did this thing, and I'm like, when we first met, or like, how many years ago? And it was like, no, that was earlier this year. That was like February of this year, and I'm like, what? I can't remember what it was though. We're genuinely like halfway there, yes. Dang, I, oh, I do have a boat. I'm like, we're using a lot of boats today. Been eighty four years. That's what I read too, Mox. <laughs> and I didn't realize it until you said what it should have been. That's another shirt that I still need to make. Shirt! Tell you what, I'm sick of seeing the snow in this game. <laughs> this is supposed to be an escape. Are you able to make snowballs?
So that'll be a yes. Unless you're asking in real life, to which the answer is also yes. True, but you don't have to be out in the cold to make snowballs in Minecraft. Ooh, that's trippy. Feels like we're not moving at all. Not moving at all, not moving at all, not moving at all. that dang wolf. Oh, there it is. Worried it'd be under the ice. The stream element shirt has been comfy. That's good to hear. Cone, Cone said he got his. Don't go under the ice. Alright, I'm just gonna swim for it. Tell you what. Oh, I do have... there is some... whoa. I just... I recently... I did... I recently seen on the internet, um, December 7th, the moon is going to occult Mars and it will be visible for North America. Not for me, probably, because it's going to be cloudy and rainy and snowy. Gotta, gotta get out, get out your telescopes. Dust off your binoculars. I assume you have at least 100 backups of this save. Um, that would be too many. I was just going through my backups because my network backup is nearly full and I was trying to clean things up. Um, but I've got quite a few, yes. Too many, honestly. I like, for some reason, I started to keep backups of every year, like every new year that I have, in spite of me also having backups of every Flobathon map.
think I should get rid of those. Those are kind of unnecessary. They're just going to be like random points. Um, I should just keep the Flawathon ones. But yeah, with each one being like 20, 30, 40 gigabytes. <laughs> leaves little room for much else. But I've got like, I make a local one on a different hard drive. I got the one that automatically goes to the network drive. And then I do still have an, an offline or offline, offsite, online backup that runs that I have been paying for and really never have had to use or have even checked on recently. <laughs> I hope it's still backing up. You need room for excellent games like I Am Jesus. Yes, the the 32 gigabyte demo install of I Am Jesus. was my computer and I instantly uninstalled as soon as I could. Expertly optimized video gaming experience. Are you joking about it having a virus in it, by the way? <laughs> uh, I think so. I didn't run a virus scan or a, a, a malware scan afterwards. I just think it's poorly made. <laughs> it's, it's, it's badly created. Like they didn't compress the textures or anything. I mean, yeah, we could take that one step further. Religion is the virus. Oh, snap. Got him. I am the virus. Cuckoo, 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 cuckoo. Is that how that song goes? Ooh. Contender for the thumbnail. Hold on, I'm going to have to like. Stop it, Wolfie. Gotta get a better angle on this one. Wolfie, get over here. Have a seat. I'm a photographer. Uh... Oh, now I'm too close. You're too close. Uh, this, this, this can end poorly. All right, let's continue. Eroding. Neat.
I mean, that was pretty cool on the patron server. The, uh, the little sinkhole in the swamp. The, the natural sinkhole. I would like to upload that the the Jesus <laughs> gameplay to YouTube, but the songs they use get content ID'd. I'm pretty sure we heard the song in the in the game that was in the trailer. And I'm I'm nothing if not stubborn about that sort of thing. Did that wood? Spooky noises. I just had to check to see if that was an alert or not. <laughs> Darn it. I said I was feeling more awake, but evidence would suggest otherwise. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was looking around to check to see if Wolfie was going to fall, and I fell myself. Yep, a real chill stream here. Some lo-fi hip-hop beats in here. Ah, I'll just have to program Mr. Randomizer into lo-fi mode. And then they can be endless, unending, continual, randomized, nonsensical. Mm. 
Give me a blitz. Mr. Randomizer needs a Twitch channel. I would need to purchase a copy of Max MSP to like get it to work properly. <laughs> Niblet. Niblet. What are you yelling at? I mean, I was saying that YouTube streaming does seem to be better positioned for like nature cams or like those train streams or the the lo-fi beats that's what that's mr randomizer could do that's not a bad idea not a good idea <laughs> but it's also not a bad idea oh okay yeah, that was a shortcut speedrunner strats wolfie's got him It is definitely an idea, yes. Like the problem is, is I would need to like have a computer on all the time. Running. Mr. Randomizer. And streaming it. <laughs> And I'm sure at this point, other people have created random music generators that are much higher fidelity than Mr. Randomizer's like telephone keypad tones. <laughs> Although, I don't know, you're seeing a lot about AI art. I haven't seen much about AI music yet. Probably because if you made an AI music generator, it would like sample from existing music and then you'd get sued into oblivion by the MPAA. Or not, that's the motion picture music. That The music, uh, RIAA, that's the ones. As opposed to if you make a art AI, you could just steal from Everybody's deviant art, and they're all poor art students who can't do a dang thing about enforcing copyright and IP law. That might be the reason. I think we need to come up with another term other than AI. Because it's not AI. That's just like all these programmer nerds are deciding that the thing they made is an AI. It really dilutes what the term actually traditionally means. It's algorithm. It's copy and paste. It's not, it's not like, it, it's one of those buzzwords like blockchain was. Got your blockchain right here, your Minecraft block chain.
gelatinous. Got a niblet. I think he needs his food piled. Need your food piled? <laughs> Ooh, you dang angry guy. All right, hold on a second. I'm back. Sorry, I had to... After piling the food, I needed to wash my hands of the stinky food, but the girlfriend's in the bathroom. But yeah, it is kind of... It is kind of interesting that most people decided that AI art was bad. But now everybody's like, look at it's my face in AI. And sharing those images. <laughs> they sure do know how to market to people. Make them feel like they're being left out if they don't do the thing. If the AI art was like generating unique art, much like Mr. Randomizer generates music without sampling other music, if it was able to do that without sampling pre existing art, then I might be impressed and be okay with it. But it's not because they're not written by artists. So they don't have any of that headspace to build on. So it's nothing but pre existing artwork spaghetti. artists sample other artists not literally <laughs> like when you're when you're learning how to make be an artist and say you're like looking at Monet or whatever you're not literally taking the paint off of Monet's canvas and putting it on your own canvas and saying I made this <laughs> you know what I mean it's still It's a, it's a, there, there, I mean, I think it, it is a societally, there's no laws, there's no rules. There's a societal difference between cars replacing horses 
and then going to something as fundamentally like human as art and saying, well, we could just replace all the artists. <laughs> it's like, okay. <laughs> I guess we could just scoop all of our brains out. Throw them in the river. Where's that? Oh, here it is. We got a spawner. Where's that wolfie? Woo. Uh, I do need more uh, dirt, though, to get this one. And, yeah, and it's not also art isn't limited to like the definition of what art is to these AR art things. Like Minecraft has art. You know, graphic design is art. So it's a very limited You could say inhuman grasp of the concept of what art is. It's like, and I've talked about this before as somebody who did web design. I was in, like, you could tell websites that are created by programmers. Yeah, you could have a programmer build your website and it'll function fine and it might be fast and do all the things you want it to do, but the user interface is going to be garbage. The colors, the color theory is not going to be existent. The and that's not a that's not a dig against artists. It's a it's a it's an argument that we need both. And that's why I always got so frustrated looking for jobs in most design stuff is that they want somebody who can do everything. Oh yeah, you need to do front end, user interface, accessibility, art design, images and whatnot, but you also need to do back end design, PHP, database server management you know they wanted something somebody that could do everything for twenty eight thousand dollars a year no. skeletonas what was this a double double chest situation right here well, nope, that's a skeleton is what that is. Oh, okay, he's, he's still trying. And he's dying. Oh, this is gonna be a bad place real soon. It is a double chest. We got a double chest, everybody. Uh, we got a bunch of buckets. And some more wheat. And that's uh, that's really it. Okay, gotta go! <laughs> Let's make sure those skeletons can't get out at us. It's totally different now. It's like $29,000 a year. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, and they want you to manage all of the social media, too.
Bow, 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 bow. That's why I got these pigs. Was to, whoop, that's not a pig. Boats, boats, boats! Now I've started a discussion in chat. start seeking a new job next year that may be in web design I'm scared it may go the way of the last job related to that Anymore. I doubt it's good. <laughs> I've not looked for anything like that because I do not want to get back into that. And also I'm wildly out of practice and skills. I mean, I was wildly out of practice and skills back when I was doing it. Blink tag. The HTML blink tag. <laughs> Whoa, that's a big that's a big tube to nowhere.
Might I ask if you've heard of the Council of Farlanders before? No. I know there's a game coming out called Farlanders, but it's like a top-down pixel uh, uh, strategy game, base-building game. It has nothing to do... I have no affiliation or association with any of it. All right, we did it. Discord. Yeah, this snow biome is. I hate it. It's a Discord server of Farlands enthusiasts. Very interesting. I tell you what, I'm barely active at all in my own Discord server. Yeah, gr grandfather. <laughs> uh. Uncle, yeah, yeah, I, I only if I'm referred to as Uncle Grandpa <laughs> or Uncle Jesus. <laughs> Discord name. Well, thank thank you for the information. It's a council. Does that mean there's like voting? And like meeting minutes <laughs> and then like board meetings and stuff. Motions passed. Kirk gets the veto on all the meetings. <laughs> I veto this meeting. I'm going home. <laughs> Journey verification. Has my journey been verified? 
<laughs> if it's any, if it's to the extent that the Guinness World Records verified it, then I'd say the the uh, the uh, requirements are very lax. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you dang chicken, you intercepted me. I almost punched him out of frustration, but I will... Oh. I know what I'll do with him. Have a seat. I'm gonna need more dirt for this. So many spawners. The vast majority of which are underwater. Missile. Oh, that chicken left. I was going to push him in. Oh, no, he's over there somewhere. Oh, I think we just had some sand collapse. for me. Soggy spawners. Well, I say, I thought SnowRunner was getting good views. I think this here Far Lands a Bus thing might take off. I am that guy. Oops. I could like push this guy into the spawner. Oh, maybe I can. Get corralled. Get jumped on. Get pushed. Go on, get. You're the you're the canary in the coal mine, my friend. Another double? Oh, he's in there. You're in there for good. Enjoy your- oh. Oh no you don't. Oh no you- oh you dingus. <laughs> I'm sorry? Oh now he's taunting me. Another skeleton? Is this the same one? Are we going in circles? Uh, does this one have no chests? Because it certainly seems like that's the case. We had a double chest in the last one. And this one has none chests. Oops. 
Get muted. Well, ain't that a kick in the pants? No chests. What are the chances of that? For that, we destroy it. This spawner is dry. All right. You broke my boat. And then led me to find this spawner with nothing in it, dang guy. No, 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 no. <laughs> this is like corralling chickens. Come on. Yes. No! <laughs> No! Stop it! Yes! Go on and get it. Oh, dang guy. Aha! Enjoy your sand, jerk. <laughs> Death by chicken, right? I would have taken some damage had I fallen down there. Trying to get like a. Ah, that's good enough. That's all we want to remember him by. Let's go. Wasting my time. <laughs> now I gotta make another boat. No, oh, I left my chest back there. Oh, I lost my chest. What happened to my chest? <laughs> Did I leave it in the other spawner when I made the, the, the... He laid an egg. When I made the, uh, shovel. I think I did. Dang it. I gotta make another... Worch bench. Pallet hands! Pallet hands gifted a tier 1 sub to Known Beast. They have given 352 gift Wait, subs in the channel. Thank you very much for the gift sub to Noon Beast. Noun Beast. Now you can use that Picard Collab emote anywhere on Twitch. There's a clip from Zeldathon of someone reacting to the Picard Clap emote. I'll find that clip. That one made it through the auto mod. <laughs> Maybe because it's in quotes. <laughs> Let's not test the auto mod.
Oh, hello, Wolfie. Okay, just want to get in my way, huh? do oh don't want to make the hidey hole there that's for sure oh this whole place is no good Torches, torches, torches. I have it right here. Maybe Cone thought he was in a different chat. <laughs> torches, torches, torches. Testing auto mod. Does Armo trigger auto mod? Armo mod. Oh no, I'm low on wooden planks. We'll be fine. Uh, I am going to need tools, though. <laughs> Digging out those spawners really took us back a notch. Oh, boy. Well, as expected. <laughs> Going for part two of a Far Lands or Bus stream really spreads the butter thin, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, boy. But we made more progress. Progress? We made pro marriage. Progress. We made more progress to the Far Lands and are closer to overthrowing the Council of Farlanders <laughs> in a hostile takeover. <laughs> and uh, yeah, thanks for tuning in. Let's go to sleep. Check on the wor world size. Oh, so close. 44,962.2. We would have had that 45,000 had that chicken not distracted us. Broke our boat. Made us uncover a spawner that had nothing for us in it. I tell you, I tell you what. Now he is trapped for all of eternity. In a prison of his own making that I made for him. <laughs> 